All right. So I just had a question about doing the breakout rooms. And uh, based on what I saw in the video that Leanna did, uh, what you have to do is basically you're taking your classroom link, but then you're just adding to it because the Google Meet links, there's nothing special about them. They're just a randomly generated uh, add-on on the end of the, the meet.google.com lookup. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to create two different meet meetings uh, using this link and just adding numbers to it. So I'm going to copy this. Oops. Let's copy it. If I can. There we go. So I'm going to copy this link and then you can paste it into your, into whatever your assignment is or your announcements. And you can add the numbers that way. I'm just going to show you what it looks like when I copy it into a new tab. So I'm going to paste that up here and then I'm just going to add a one to it. And so this will be breakout room number one. So I would share that link with the students that I want in breakout room number one. And I can go into that. And there I am. And I can start that. Join now. And you can see there's nobody else here except for me all by myself. And then I'm going to open up another tab. I'm going to paste that link again. And I'm going to add two to this one. So that means this is going to be breakout room number two. And I'll share that with the link with the students I want to have in there. And so I go to that. And again, no one else is here. And you can see that code is there, the same code from Classroom, except it's got a two on the end. And then click on the join now. And so now I've got two open. So I've got this meet open. This would be meet number two. I've got this meet open, which can be meet number one. And you can see down on the left there, this one says one, in case I get confused as to which one I'm in. This one says two. And again, when you get in and out of the meets, it recommends that you turn your uh, microphone off on the one that you're not in so you're not speaking to both groups at the same time but you can run i don't know how this works in theory if there's other people in here but i think that's basically what leanna was trying to show you was uh, that if you change that you create the two and i don't know how this affects the uh, security features but of course you can still go into the host controls and still control the quick access from here and prevent the students from sharing the screen and if you want using the chat all right hope this helps